The related one then is the come here or brush knee where we have the alternating hands. It helps to literally look and as if you're gesturing and then you both hands show the direction high and low. The low one is always the way you're turning, they trade. Good. And it depends on you. You can have them following or you can alternate. You can have one a little ahead of the other. If you have the flexibility in the chair, of course, you want it to be from the waist. Good. Switch your arms so that this one's low. Yeah, so it's that way exactly. Almost like you're sliding a door. Now, generally, you notice we're going to the side. I want you to try this. Everybody go to this side. When you drop this hand, the hand that's coming over the top, instead, push forward, like you're saying, gently stop to me. Now, bring this arm up and say stop with that hand and push this one down. Now, we pause right here. The hand that's saying stop, bring that index finger towards center again, which feels familiar, and bring it out here and drop your elbow. Now, speaking of attitude, I'm not saying stop. And I'm not saying, stop, whoa, <laughs> easy, all right? So I bring my hands over here, this one comes up, the le your right hand is going to say, whoa, and the other hand's going to go. This is now, do you feel the energy, the attitude difference, the emotional? What is this one? I already gave you a little clue by saying, whoa. <laughs> Something I had a very hard lesson about a year and a half ago with my student, the power of a good and healthy no. See what I'm saying? Most of us are yes people, and we tend to agree and agree and agree and agree because that's socially acceptable and you, you don't want to be the downer, right? So that can eventually, you know, I'm getting too deep here, but you eventually become too passive, right? You can become a pushover, right? Because you don't understand where your women's self-defense, that's classically what happens. The women who don't have a sense of where their no is will be the victim, right? And it has to do with confidence. So if I'm doing this, all I'm being is the bully and the fearful one. Same thing with this. If I'm just... I'm not mad, angry, or anything. It's just like, we've all seen the fabulous movie To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm -hmm. yes. Gregory Peck, in the scene where the little man is just literally spitting on him. And he is, that's the power of him. Right so this one is, you're having the off day, and if you were Tai Chi or Qigong, you should actually face south, because south is where all the problems are. <laughs> And you're not beating the problems up. You're not even making them go away. You're just stuck. Right? One of my favorite things in self-defense, especially if you with bullies, I'm going to say it a little loud, but you have bullies coming after you, the kids go, freeze! <laughs> Who has not played freeze tag? As soon as you say freeze, people stop. Right? Same thing. There's a very different, you know, if you talk to any police officer, the ability to de-escalate a situation is an art unto itself. Right? That, that whole idea. Chaos, whoa, whoa. So the five circles are energy, if you want to pick into what organs, they're great expression, but for me, these are the emotional things. Grounding, celebrating, whatever, boom. What's this one? We didn't talk about that. I think I heard it. Balance, centering, exactly. Around, so that, that's, that's, that's my favorite one. Everything in Tai Chi comes from, and Qigong come from those five circles. You would see the relationship if you're doing forms or whatever. So that's a nice. So